I got carded at a liquor store and my Blockbuster card accidentally fell out. The cashier said never mind. Today, I'm going to recap a 2010 action thriller film called The Losers. A quick warning, there will be major spoilers ahead. The Losers are an elite black ops team of United States Special Forces operatives that includes Leader Clay, Roke, Cooch, Jensen, and Cougar, who are sent to Bolivia on a search-and-destroy mission on a compound run by a drug lord. While painting a target for an upcoming airstrike, the losers spot slave children in the compound and try to call off the attack, but their superior, codenamed Max, ignores their pleas. With no other option, the losers enter the compound, successfully rescue the children, and kill the drug lord in the process. As a helicopter arrives to pick them up, Max, convinced that they know too much, orders it to be destroyed, unaware that they decided to rescue the children first. The losers watch as a missile destroys the helicopter and kills 25 innocents. Knowing that the attack was meant to kill them, they fake their deaths and become stranded in Bolivia, lacking the funds and paperwork necessary to go home. Four months later, Clay is approached by Aisha, a mysterious woman who offers him the chance to kill Max, against whom she wants revenge. Clay accepts and Aisha arranges for the group to return to the United States, where they proceed to attack a convoy supposedly carrying Max. Max is what? Only to discover Aisha has tricked them into stealing a hard drive with Max's secrets. Unable to access the files, Jensen infiltrates the company that made the drive and steals an algorithm that allows him to crack the code. Look, I know this probably doesn't look like <laughs> Wow, he's still killing me. I'm warning you. Discovering that the drive contains credits for a $400 million transfer in Max's name, which he received for selling snooks or sonic nukes. Eco-friendly sonic bombs with the potency of a nuclear warhead that uses sonic fields to crush surrounding environment into oblivion, but no fallout to international terrorists. Tracing the money flow to the Los Angeles International Port of Entry, which the losers deduce is Max's base. They form a plan to attack it and kill Max. While studying the drive, Jensen discovers that their mission in Bolivia was a cover, so Max could eliminate the drug lord who had discovered his plan and that Aisha is the man's daughter, seeking revenge for his death. After her cover is blown, Aisha shoots Jensen in the arm and escapes. <laughs> Believing that she might betray them, the losers decide to speed up their attack on Max's base, only to be betrayed by Roke and captured by Max and his right-hand man and chief of security, Wade. As the losers are lined up to be executed, Aisha returns and ambushes Max's team. In the ensuing fight, Clay confirms that he killed Aisha's father. Yes. Roke steals Max's plane, which is loaded with his money, and tries to escape. As Roke's jet heads down the runway, Wade takes a motorcycle and goes after him to retrieve Max's money. Cougar shoots the motorcycle's engine, causing Wade to be hurled into the jet's engine and the flaming motorcycle to be hurled into the cockpit of the plane, which explodes, killing Roke. Max then kills the scientist responsible for the development of the snooks after revealing that his true intention is to use the snooks to spark global conflict to gain power. As Jensen, Cougar and Aisha help Pooch, who has been shot in both legs by one of Max's security guards, Clay pursues Max to a crane, where Max says that he has activated the snook that will destroy Los Angeles, and Clay will have to choose between deactivating it or killing Max. Clay chooses the former and Max escapes but Clay affirms that he now knows what Max looks like and will soon find him. Max escapes on a bus and is robbed by two thugs. His fate after this is unknown. Shortly thereafter, the losers help Pooch reach the hospital where his pregnant wife is giving birth to their son and attend Jensen's eight-year-old niece's soccer game. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy at the like button.
and if you disliked it hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. You should watch the full movie, thank you very much for watching.